So I'll introduce the first fellow. Barry Murnane is an associate professor in the Faculty of Medieval and Modern Languages and fellow and tutor in German at St. John's College. He has published widely on European literature and culture from the 1700s to the present day and is especially interested in modernity and modernization, technology, and the medical humanities. I'd like to extend, extend a special welcome to Barry's knowledge exchange partner, Oisin Wall, who is an associate curator of medicine at the Science Museum London. He is currently working on the psychiatry and public health sections of the redevelopment of the Science Museum's medical galleries, which will open in 2019. His first exhibition, Journeys Through Medicine, opened in October 2015. He holds a PhD in history from King's College London, as well as an MA and a BA. So thank you so much for coming. Right, so my project is about how pharmacy can be identified as a laboratory of modernity. And in spring 2016, I'll be working alongside the curators and the experts in medical history at the Science Museum in London. The Science Museum is one of the most popular museums in the entire UK, and it attracts over 3 million visitors every year, including almost 500,000 young people in the largest museum-based outreach programme in the country. This is a high-impact partnership, and we at Oxford are very, very happy to have made this connection. Um, the background to our collaboration is the redesign and the expansion of the museum's medicine galleries uh, due for opening in 2019. And in addition, the Science Museum has just opened a brand new research centre and a library. And I'll be the first Knowledge Exchange Science Museum Fellow uh, from Oxford to be hosted there. And I'll be working alongside the museum's own researchers and curators like Oisin Wall here in the coming months. The collaboration emerges from my research on the links between literature and pharmacy in the 18th and 19th centuries. And in my previous research, I've looked at various medications such as opiates around 1800 and pulmonary illness around 1900, specifically in, around the works of Franz Kafka. The rationale behind the project and behind the project as a laboratory of modernity <coughs> is that pharmaceutical therapies have been the most common form of therapy amongst the working and middle classes. The period in particular, the modern period in particular, saw an unparalleled growth in the, previous, in the provision of competing self-medications and pharmaceutical technologies. And I focus on the biographies of the medications and technological apparatuses themselves and hope that this shifts the focus on medical theory to and texts to tell the story of medicines and technological conditions of their discovery and delivery. I'm interested in the pharmaceuticals themselves because I think they tell powerful stories about the experiences of illness and wellness as these were really experienced by patients and practitioners at the time. The project is tailored specifically to the Science Museum's, uh, to the Science Museum's welcome collection in medical history, which consists of basically things, yeah? um, materia medica, equipment, ephemeral objects for use by experts and common patients. I'm not an expert in material history, and you understand this fellowship very much as a collaboration where I'll be working alongside the Science Museum's experts in material culture, developing strategies which will hopefully enable me to profit from their expertise in reconstructing the history of medicine through the lens of material culture. And I'll be working alongside curators like Ushin while they design the new medical galleries that will introduce millions and millions of children to medical history over the coming decades. And he can tell you a little bit more about this now. So the, um, the Science Museum has... Uh, we think, uh, the, largest medical uh, the largest collection of medical history objects in the world, and definitely the most diverse. Um, and uh, in order to showcase it, we used to have a, a gallery that, that was well over 30 years old that hadn't been changed at all in about 30 years. Um, and so we're, we're redeveloping a new suite of six galleries, as you can see there, um, which has um, a passenger plane in the centre of the picture for scale. Um, <laughs> So, yeah, so we'll be developing the suite of six galleries uh, in order to showcase, showcase that collection. And Barry will be the first um, fellow coming to us because we're trying to develop, as part of that redevelopment, we're trying to develop a, a, a bigger research profile. Um, and so we'll have uh, collaborative, doctoral, collaborative doctoral students, um, academic research assistants, and also a string of fellows coming to us over the next three to five years. So... As I said, the project is tailored to the makeup of the Science Museum's Welcome Collection, and I'm interested in the 
pretty unremarkable objects sometimes that change people's lives in really important ways. And I'm interested in objects like this. <laughs> yeah, Dr. Nelson's inhaler, which was invented in 1861 and went into mass production in 1865. And I'm interested in these because they can tell remarkable stories about the networks that produce medical improvements um, from Harley Street doctors to pharmaceutical technicians to relatively, you know, relatively simple technologies bringing together different actors across different fields industrial chemists, instrument makers, patients. I'm interested in this in particular because it's, it, it, it cured one of the, or helped to cure one of the major problems in the 19th century, namely lung illnesses, pulmonary disease. Um, this for the first time enabled in 1865 on a mass scale targeted drug delivery to the lungs, which helped millions and millions of bronchial and chronic uh, asthmatic patients in the 19th century. So I'm interested in objects like this which will help us to tell very, very interesting smaller stories. Um, in an interdisciplinary project around this Nelson's inhaler, um, I'll be testing the inhaler itself and actual remedies from the 19th century with British Lung Foundation and with research pharmacists. This has never been done before, and these are things that weren't tested in the 19th century, so we're doing very kind of an experimental history of science to go along with this. I'll also be, I think quite importantly, I, th I think for, for both of us, I'll be assisting the Science Museum curators in developing the narratives of the new medicine galleries around the objects which they've collected, which will be the story of medical history that millions of children will be hearing in the years to come. And I'll be hosting a series of workshops with inhalation stakeholders, people from Asthma UK, from the British Lungs Foundation, <coughs> from the pharmaceutical industry. And I'll be holding workshops with education and museum specialists to develop a series of object-specific talks talks for schools, for public engagement, and for podcasts. And finally, I'll be hosting, towards the end of the fellowship there, I'll be hosting part of their, their late series, these events in the evening time, on literature and pharmacy, looking in particular at literature and drugs in the 19th century. That's my project, and I'm really, really looking forward to doing so. Thank you.